Welcome to Madden 19. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Spotlight Productions and today we have the first video on Madden 19 guys. I'm so excited to get this baby underway. We're going to be doing the dynasty with or franchise with the Arizona Cardinals. We're going to absolutely rebuild this team, the Super Bowl contenders. But guys, if you haven't already, make sure to go leave a like on this video. Let's go hit 30, guys. I know we can do it. Come on. Let's go get a big thumbs up down there. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe, guys. You guys are not going to want to miss this series. So go subscribe right now and turn on the notification bell so you're always notified when I upload a video. I know you guys are anxious, and I am too. So let's get right into making this franchise. So it's going to be an offline franchise. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start a new one, and we're going to use the active roster, which is the week one rosters. And um, so they're important to players right now. And we're going to be picking the Arizona Cardinals at 76 overall, 77 offense, and 81 overall. Defense obviously needs a rebuild. Our head coach will be um, a um, former player. Oh, it's not here. So, um, oh, okay. Um, let's go with um, Team Builder. And his name will be... Sorry, guys. It uh, takes forever to load on console. Or I, I think it's all systems. But... It's going to be the one and only Brian Ryan from the Tulsa Golden Hurricane Dynasty. He will be taking over the Arizona Cardinals and leading them to Super Bowl champions in this series. Sorry, I accidentally mistyped it. But guys, this is huge for the channel. I hope you guys are excited. Let's see. We got to fix that first. Brian Ryan was a running back for the Arizona Cardinals. That's about what he looks like. His sideburns aren't that long. Mm. Oh, yeah, faces. Okay. But Brian Ryan was um, an amazing running back in the Tulsa Golden Hurricane Dynasty. He ran for, I believe, over uh, 2,000 career rushing yards and a handful of touchdowns. Probably about 40. But, man. Here is Brian Ryan. He is looking pretty gosh darn good in his um, new Arizona Cardinals um, play or uh, uh, dress, I guess you could say. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it. Brian Ryan is the head coach for the Arizona Cardinals, and we are underway in this franchise. Here we are, and we are ready to go from. Um, the main menu screen, as you can see, Brian Ryan on his phone, probably checking in on the players, I would think. Here is our roster, and there's a lot of work to do. We're going to start the quarterback position. Um, Josh Rosen will be the starting quarterback week one. He has quick development. He's a 78 overall. Um, Phil General is um, his best scheme, but our scheme fit is um strong arm so we're going to develop him into a strong arm quarterback which he's very good at actually 78 overall in that department as well and he's a rookie from ucla 6'4 226 pounds and um he's going to be an amazing player for us i think that he's going to absolutely ball out for us and hopefully he has a good rookie season besides our um not very good offensive line and to say the least, um, I'm going to promote him to the starting quarterback position right now. Or, sorry, I accidentally messed that up. But Sam Bradford is the um, going to be the backup quarterback. He is um, a solid quarterback. Uh, he's 30 years old, uh, 6'4", 224 pounds, with eight years of experience in the league. Um, he is a 79 field general, but only 77 strong arm quarterback. Um, we're going to have to work on that. So, excuse me, guys. But, um, yeah, he's... Um, Definitely going to be a good backup, but I feel like we need to get experience for Josh Rosen. Or I'm, pr oh, I think it's right trigger. So, or you don't push it. Okay, so Josh Rosen is our starting quarterback, and uh, then Sam Bradford will be backing him up, and Mike Glenn scheme fit will be the third stringer. Um, on to um, running back David Johnson is our 93 overall um, elusive back. Out of Northern Ireland, this is his third year. He's coming off a, um, I believe, torn ACL se season last year. He is an amazing player. He does so many things for us, and he's going to absolutely ball out as well. 
I think that he may have more receiving yards than rushing yards just because of our scheme. So we'll see how that works. Um, backing him up is uh, TJ Logan. Um, uh, he's the second year player out of uh, North Carolina. I think this might be messed up for some reason, but um, yeah, um, it doesn't. I think we're might be missing some. No, I think we're good. So I thought that Butler was on the team. I I think that was a trade or something happened. But um, yeah, starting off, Larry Fitzgerald, the 35 year old Pittsburgh Panther, is the possession receiver. He's a captain. He will remain a captain. He's the leader of this team. One of them, not the. The only one, but he's definitely a big one. Um, he's definitely going to do well for us. I feel like he's going to be a great player for us to use. And then uh, at receiver number two, we have Jordy Nelson, who does have a skill point. Uh, I think I actually send uh, wrong. So we will give him a scheme point or a uh, point here. I've not done this yet, so I'm very excited to try it. So we'll be putting one archetype into his deep threat. That brings him up to a 75 overall. Um, with plus one catching traffic, plus two medium route, and plus four release, and that will really help out um, J.J. Nelson in his third year out of UAB, the deep threat receiver, which will play number two for us. Number three receiver, and what's looking to be our slot receiver, our, our other outside receiver, Christian Kirk. He's um, the rookie receiver out of Texas A&M. He's a very good player. We just need to work on developing him into – um, a player that we can use in our system. Um, our offensive line definitely needs work. I'm not going to lie. Um, our best player is Pug, and he is an 80 overall. He's a power. He fits our scheme. He's only in fifth year, but he's is 28, so that is a problem. Uh, at center, we have Cole, um, Mason Cole, the 69 overall center, which is absolutely terrible. The rookie from Michigan, though, so hopefully we can develop him. I thought he was going to be better than that. Uh, Micah Potty. The 77 overall left guard, so our guards at least are at least decent, I guess you could say. The eighth-year player out of Idaho, age 31, he's going to start regressing, so we're going to have to look elsewhere. I believe DJ Humphreys over here, uh, only in his third year, so I think that we can get him up, but the pass protector scheme fit is not there by any means. And then finally, we got Andre Smith, the right tackle, 73 overall. Once again, we got to get better, ninth year out of Alabama. At tight end, we have multiple players that fit our scheme, Jermaine Gresham, is going to start us out for us. He's the vertical threat tied in, 6'5", 230 pounds. And then behind him, who emerged last season, kind of, Ricky Stills-Jones, uh, the vertical threat um, um, tied in out of Texas A&M as well. So uh, we'll be running a lot of two tight end sets. Uh, for right now, Gresham will get the starts and let's fight side trade him or something like that. On to the defense. There's a lot of things I want to do here um, that maybe you guys didn't expect. So um, we're going to start um, at the core, at the defensive line. We'll start with Golden, who has a skill point upgrade. Marcus Golden, left 44 overall left in. Um, I think that we're going to upgrade his skill rusher. I will probably go with that for all the archetypes. He is a 76 overall now, or 73 in that regard. I don't think he went up in his normal regard. He may have. I didn't look. Yeah, he was a 75, I believe. So now he's a 76 and a 73 speed uh, speed rusher, age 27, 260 pounds, 36 out of Missouri. And then we have uh, Nakani, um, the second defensive tackle, 74 overall, had a big play last year. Uh, the second year player, our old Miss. Uh, we're gonna have to work on developing him as well. Uh, he is a scheme fit though, so that's good. Defensive tackle, we do have, or our first defensive tackle, Corey Peters, is a solid player, to 84 overall. Uh, run stopper. He's not a speed rusher, but uh, we do need some run help, and he is a captain, which we'll discuss if he'll remain that in a little bit or not. Chandler Jones is the six-year player, 28 years old, out of Syracuse. He's a 90 overall power rusher, power rusher, but a 86 run stopper, so we may have to work on that one as well. Patrick Peterson is our first cornerback, as he's uh, the captain, 91 overall. A seventh year out of LSU, he is a great player to build around for, in the secondary. Really excited about him. Now, on the other side, you have uh, Jamar Taylor to 80 overall. Man-to-man um, -man's his best scheme, but we'll try to work on his zone coverage. Uh, we got Buda Baker at uh, Strong Safety, who is a run supporter, which is fine, but we do need to work on that zone coverage as it's not the best. We'll see what we can do with Buda Baker. And then Trey Boston at Free Safety will be starting. He is a scheme fit, fourth year in North Carolina. Now, there's one player here that's going to play that um, – Maybe you guys didn't expect, but uh, Betha had a 
breakout year last year, or did, just did really well. And he's not going to sit on the bench at age 34. He's going to play. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to edit him, and I'm going to make him a cornerback is what I'm thinking. So we have three good corners. We'll see what his overall goes to. Let's see. Um, he is a 79 overall corner. So he's going to play as a slot corner for us, um, which is the best archetype, so that's perfect. So uh, Bethel will be playing that position, and uh, he'll still remain in the backup free safety. And then Ford's our backup strong safety. At the linebacking core, we do have places to build around, but not a whole lot. Duan Buchanan's a solid player, but he just hasn't emerged into that player that we all expect out of college from Washington State. In his fourth year, he has a big season to see if he can get anything done. Uh, then we have Bra Bra Bions at middle linebacker, who is a run-stopper field general. Uh, we're probably going to have to improve here, but he's definitely not the worst player in the world, but definitely not the best by any means. And then finally, we have uh, Th Theo Ritt or. Hassan Riddick, that's right. The second-year player out of Temple. Uh, we're going to have to work on his power rusher, but for right now, speed rusher and run stopper are solid. So now it's time to look at our special discs. Um, and there's a lot of uh, positions I want to look at here. Christian Kirk will start as our slot receiver for right now. Um, and then at um, third down running back will be David Johnson, and then power back will be David Johnson, of course. Sub linebacker will be Devon Duchanning. Uh, slot corner will be. Um, here, let me see if Bethel comes up. Well, he's a corner now, correct? He's a corner back. Why can I not make him my slot corner? I don't know what the deal is, but I can't make my slot corner, unfortunately. So we will have to, I guess, do without there. That really is unfortunate. So it looks like uh, Rudy Ford will be our um, a slot corner. If you guys know about that, please let me know because I really need to know why I can't play Bethel there. We'll give Williams a skill point here. Um, we'll put him in the zone. And that boost, hopefully, or, oh, that was my bad. But it's okay. He's still a 69 overall, still solid, um, and he's better slot anyway, so that helps. So we have competition. All right, so um, at rush ends we have Golden and Jones, and then at the rush middle we have um, of Connie D. Sorry, I, I'm gonna botch his names quite a bit. So, um, yeah, so now we got captains to set, which um. There's a couple players that will be losing their captains um, because there's uh, better players for that. Uh, Bethel will first off be the first one to lose his captain, so we will take that from him, unfortunately. He's not a bad player by any means, but we have better places to put that at. Um, let's see here what I want to end up doing. So I want to put that one into Josh Rosen immediately. He needs to be a... Uh, well, can not be captain as a rookie? I guess not. So, David Johnson surely can. Well, man. So, if you're telling me I go to an older player like Humphreys, for example. Well, heck, he can't even be the captain. So, who can be the captain? Well, that's ridiculous. I can't figure out why I can't get captains to work. I might have to look this up. Can I set him back as the captain? Well, I, I got to figure out this captain stuff, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, um, I've been working on it. and Okay, now it works. So, I took it off another player, and I guess I had to, something was um, wrong or something like that. But, anyways, Josh Rosen will be the captain here. So, we'll set him. Uh, you can have six. So, he'll start as one. Bradford's going to lose his, of course. We don't need him. Um. Or he doesn't need to be captain unless he's the quarterback. David Johnson will receive his captain badge. And then, um, I hope that audio is not playing in the background. I'll turn that off here in a minute. There's a lot of settings that we still have to go over. But, um, yeah, I want to see. Um, okay, so is there anybody left that I want to change? Larry Fitzgerald, Johnson, and then uh, Jones and Peterson on defense. So, yeah. 
So uh, let's head right in the stats here. Um, er, or sliders. So I'm going to be going with Matt 10 sliders for this. So um, yeah, uh, accuracy is going to be 49-49. Uh, so we'll just change both of those right now. So 49-49. Uh, okay. uh, and then um, pass blocking is going to be here let me see if okay I'm pretty sure yeah okay so um, 48 35 35 and then uh, receivers is going to be uh, 45 45 catching um, run blockings 50 55 um, fumbles is 48 48 so they're really close to default for the most part reaction times 40 40 40 40 um, Interceptions, 40-40. Fair. 40-40. And um, pass coverage, 42-42. And then tackling's 38-38. So I think these sliders, I've seen them played before uh, multiple times. They look really good, so... We're going to be going with Matt 10 sliders there, and then everything. Uh, I'm just going to leave this all default regardless if it's better or not. Okay, so this is what we, we do need to pay attention to this. Uh, um, injuries, 13. Fatigue, 49. Uh, threshold, 30. So that's really going to make it difficult, that 30 right there. And um, I think there's stuff down here. We're not going to mess with penalties in this series. So... Okay. So then we're going to go to league settings. All Madden normal simulation. All this is on weekly. Nine minute quarters. Uh, play clock's 20. Accelerated clock is off. And then all that is mine. And then tutorial pop ups off. Fill roster off. So that's all manual. And then um, wherever the gameplay helpers are, I need to find that. Uh, team settings. Yeah, I think it's right here. Gameplay options. Yeah, so that's. Um, or yeah. I just want to make sure that was all manual. All right, so there's the sliders. Now we're going to get into some practice. I hope you guys are excited. I'll see you guys in practice. Also, guys, we're going to go with eight wins for this season. Well, let's go nine. I know that's pretty difficult, but we're going to go nine, and hopefully we can make it there. So um, we have a couple more players to upgrade, so I'll just do that real quick. Some bench players that hopefully can perform. Okay, so now it should, yes, finally it's going to let me practice. There we go. And welcome everybody to practice. Starting with the draw to David Johnson to the outside. Johnson tries to stiff arm, gets off him, but doesn't get more than back to the line of scrimmage. Handoff goes to David Johnson, picks up maybe a yard. Another draw to Johnson. And he gets demolished there. I believe that was Mays, the middle linebacker. Hand off Johnson. And he spins off one but doesn't get anything after. So as you can tell, the run game is non-existent. Rosen looking to pass over the middle. Complete to Jermaine Gresham. Gresham turns on the gas. Tries to put the juke on but doesn't get much done. Rosen looking to pass. And it's complete to Johnson for about four. So we're going to move the ball back. Just analyze this team, guys. That's exactly what we're going after right now. Analyze the team. And give me your thoughts in the comments. What do you want to see us do first to improve this year? Maybe trading. 
maybe pick up a few free agents as there's a nice catch by Jordy Nelson. We really need him to emerge this year, not only as a speed threat, but as a reliable catcher. Hopefully. We'll see. Steve, uh, 57. I'm a little off today. Rosen launches it deep. Overthrown intercepted by Buda Baker. We can't have those throws from our rookie quarterback. Handoff goes to Johnson. He picks up. Loses two. Or never mind. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Looking to pass over the middle. Complete to Christian Kirk. He picks up a solid pickup there. About 10. He's going to play a lot this year. He will start. It's going to be a good rule Q receiver for us. Catch Johnson. Makes a move. Picks up a little bit etched though with the move. Rosen takes the snap. Looking to pass. Outside complete. Johnson makes a move. Picks up as much as he can. Which would have been about eight. Rosen looking to pass. Outside and intercepted. Nice play by Budabaker. He's been killing it. Jordan Nelson was open on the sideline. Just couldn't get it to him. Rosen. Looking for the screen, incomplete. David Johnson, the intended target. Josh Rosen hands off Johnson. Big blitz. Gets off one. Johnson tries to get going, but this offensive line is absolutely miserable, as you can tell. Rosen looking to pass, and complete. Johnson makes a move. Picks up another pickup of eight. Like I said, he may have more yards receiving than he does rushing, so don't be surprised. Johnson powers, picks up a solid gain. They're up to the 50, another 8-yard pickup for David Johnson. Looking to pass on the screen, complete Johnson. Gets a couple of nice blocks, but unfortunately couldn't get around number 20. Josh Rosen looking to pass. They back off from the blitz. Looking, and it's nearly hauled in by Larry Fitzgerald, who's had a couple targets. He's just been covered very well by Patrick Peterson. There's a catch for Larry Fitzgerald, the 35-year-old wide receiver, from Pittsburgh, who is shown to be reliable many seasons before, has had many 1,000-yard seasons. Larry Fitzgerald may be the best player in the history of the Cardinals. Look at this one-hander right here. Kind of. <laughs> now we won't use that. Okay. Rosen dropping back to pass, looking, still looking. Outside, chunks it, and Nelson can't make the catch. Nice, pa or Patrick Peterson's over there by Jordan Nelson, so that's my bad. Taylor's going up against uh, Fitzgerald. Johnson shakes one. Breaks another tackle. Johnson. That's the big playability from David Johnson that we need to see. Rosen looking to pass over the middle. And it's a fumble picked up by the defense. Number 43. The or Hassan Reddick on the play. Looking to pass. Underneath. Complete. Nelson. And turns it up. Jordy Nelson turns it up. Rosen takes the snap. He's looking the pass. Looking outside. Complete Fitzgerald. Tries to break the tackle, but that wasn't happening. Rosen takes the snap. He's looking the pass. Overneath. Complete Fitzgerald. Nice catch there against Taylor. Rosen takes the snap. Looking the pass outside. Complete Johnson. Can't break the tackle. Loses about two. Rosen, snap, looking to pass outside, cannot complete for Christian Kirk. Nice coverage there by L. Rosen, looking to pass, looking over the middle, complete. Fitzgerald turns it up. Fitzgerald with a nice catch there. We That's what we got to see more of from Larry Fitzgerald, as we already seen plenty of it. But he's going to be this team's leader, and that's why I'm, I keep encouraging us seeing it. Okay. All right. So you guys saw it for yourself. There is Larry Fitzgerald on the thumbnail. Looking to pass underneath. Complete Christian and Kirk. And he picks up a solid pickup about 10 for the first down. Josh Rosen takes the snap. He's looking to pass. Looking outside. And complete Jordy Nelson. Breaks the tackle. Nice play there from Jordy Nelson. The third year player out of UAB. Rosen looking to pass outside. Complete Johnson. Johnson turns it up down the sideline. There goes David Johnson. Touch. Down Arizona. What a play there from David Johnson in practice. He's showing his real ability, whether it's through the air and hopefully on the ground at some point. Looking, Christian Kirk makes the catch. Kirk tries to break a tackle, but he does get quite a few extra yards from the effort, so good job there. Rosen looking to pass. Looking underneath and complete. Nelson shakes one. Nice play. Handoff David Johnson. Picks up nothing on that play. we got to be better than that. 
Rosen, snap, looking the pass. Outside, complete Gresham for maybe two. Rosen, snap, looking the pass. Looking, still looking. Oh, man, nice hit there by, it looks to be, uh, Chris Peters. Handoff. David Johnson can't get anything. Nelson motion. David Johnson on the pitch. Tries to break it. He breaks the tackle but just can't get going. Nelson motion. Handoff. Johnson. Wow. Nice play there. Rosen. Play action. Or handoff. David Johnson. Sorry. I should have turned that one up. That was my bad. Actually got some blocks. Here's Rosen. And then off Dave Johnson for nothing. Nelson motion. It's handoff. David Johnson gets around the corner. Tries to hurdle. Going to just do a few random plays here before we end because we are quite far into this video already. Handoff Johnson picks up a solid gain. Rosen in the pistol formation takes a snap, throws it outside for J.J. Nelson, who can't break the tackle. If you're going to catch short balls, you got to do that unless you're Larry Fitzgerald. That's an exception. Rosen play action, looking to pass, and can't quite get it to Fitzgerald. Not the best throw in the world. Handoff here to the fullback. Coleman gets blown up. Wow. Rosen. Coleman comes in motion. Play action, looking to pass, looking, still looking, and he's sacked. That would be uh, Riddick, I believe. Handoff here goes to David Johnson on the draw. Johnson can't get anything. Handoff, Johnson. Nelson comes in motion, looking to pass, still looking. Throws it and deflected. Wow, that was interesting. Screen pass complete, Nelson. Takes the snap, looking the pass. Looking, nice floater, and Kurt comes down with it. That's how we will finish practice today and get a nice thumbnail shot of Josh Rosen. Look at this. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's ex man. Look at this detail on Josh Rosen, though. There we go. Let's go get that. <clears throat> I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, guys. You guys are not gonna want to miss this series. Also, ring the notification bell. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys are excited for this series. I am, especially. Gameplay so much better than this year. Let's get it going for Spotlight Productions. And Spotlight Productions is signed.